Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Kate with Beautiful Light Home. I am a Waldorf homeschooling mom to two kiddos. Uh, this is now one of several videos that I am creating about my process for creating and planning our upcoming first grade curriculum for our homeschool. I have a video on um, why I chose to plan and create the curriculum on my own. If you wanna check that out, I have another video all about what tools I'll be using. But right now, I just want to talk briefly about um, a high level overview. Like the first step after you get your tools, step two would be um, getting a high level overview of what your year is going to look like and what your blocks should be. So I have a whole nother video on like main lesson blocks and everything like that. But if you're familiar with Waldorf curriculum, you know that um, we go in a block schedule where we teach one subject in depth for three to five weeks. Um, and then you move on to, you let that rest and you move on to another subject before revisiting that subject again uh, throughout the year. So where do you begin with like creating blocks, right? So the first place I would go to, this is called, a lot of people refer to this as like the big yellow book. I've mentioned this in other videos before. This is an invaluable resource, whether you plan on making your own curriculum or not. Um, it's called the tasks and content of the Steiner Waldorf curriculum. It's edited by Kevin Avison and Martin Rawson, and it's a great resource, uh, for all grades from kindergarten all the way up through 12th grade. Um, the part that I'm going to speak to right now is the vertical curriculum. And what that means is it takes every single subject and it tells you um, it shows you how that subject progresses throughout the grades, but most importantly, it shows you what tasks and goals are to be achieved each year. So for class one, like this has like arithmetic and mathematics. It tells you exactly in class one what they should be learning that year, counting up to 110, learning up to the seven times tables by heart and through rhythmical practice, introducing the four rules and it just tells, it tells you all of the things that you should be achieving from a high level perspective. So uh, it goes through every single subject you can think of, um, English language, arts, foreign languages, geography, history, life sciences, movement, everything is included in here. So I would start here. So you can take a look and say, here's what I need to accomplish throughout the year in every single subject. That's the first thing. I also have this handy chart. I got this from waldorfpublications.org. Um, and it basically condenses everything. You need that big yellow book. You need that for sure. But this just kind of gives you a very high level overview of grades one through 12 and every single subject, what they should be learning um, in just a, a chart format. So it's like a nice little, like something to glance at real quick. If you're wondering, okay, what are we doing right now? And you can see right here, it has all, all the tests and content at hand right here. The other thing I like to do, um, and it's available to you, is go take a look, especially if, you're, if you've never written blocks before and you have no idea where to begin. It's useful to go to curriculums that are already prepared out there. Um, one thing you can take a look at is they might post like their block schedule. That's always helpful. Just so you can get an idea. You might not get the ins and outs of every lesson, but it'll tell you like, okay, we're doing this for four weeks. We're doing this for five weeks. Um, they also have individual blocks for sale sometimes. So different, different curriculum websites have different blocks available. So you can go to live education, you can go to Christophorus, you can go to Waldorf Essentials. They all post various things. Everybody's is going to be very different from one another, but it's good just to kind of get an idea of what the year might flow like if you've never, if, if you've never been exposed to this before. So um, that's where I would begin. And then I would just kind of go through and I mean, in first grade, for instance, I know we're gonna be spending the most amount of time on mathematics and on um, English language arts. So I know like reading and writing are gonna be huge and I know mathematics are gonna be huge. 
So you kind of look at those things and say, well, I'm not gonna do everything all at once for each of those. I'll probably break them up and do maybe a four week lesson on um, uh, introducing the letters to a, a, the, ch the children. And then we'll let that rest and maybe we'll go to mathematics for four weeks. So I would kind of guess that like everything's about four weeks, especially those heavier subjects. And you could just kind of plan out what your blocks could be like. So that's where I would begin. The last video was what tools you're gonna use. This video was just a high level overview of what your year is going to look like. Um, things can change. You can be flexible with them, but it's just to kind of get an idea of where to even begin. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can, yeah, you can either send me a comment or you can head over to my Instagram, which is beautiful light home. And, um, yeah, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a good one. Bye.